County government of Mombasa inataka ku impose 500 Kenya shillings mandatory fee ya ku collect waste in, in the county. Obviously we issue Mombasa for some time. Na umecheki situation venye iko. Kafsa kafsa. Na cheki. So county imeona eh hii kazi ni ngumu sana for CC as a county to, to handle Fine. it alone. Yes, Una cheki. Yes. And sometimes your budget itoshi and uh, what not. So they decided wakasema we will charge every household 500 Kenya shillings. Na wajasema itaanza lini lakini wamesema iko in the works. Eh? So eh uh, E500 bob itakuwa inatumika maybe ku collect your waste ambayo mna generate na check mm-hmm. so we badala yani wewe kule kuita ule mse wako wa watakataka watakataka umlipe 50 bob so moja utakuwa unalipa so hiyo 500 county itakuwa na uje collect wamesema wata hire private companies, companies to do this job una get hivyo ndo wanasema na kuna study ilifanywa na Danish company six years ago wanasema Mombasa generates 750 tons of waste daily Yaani siku moja ikipita kama leo hii ya Friday ikipita 750. Kesho 750. Sasa kipto. And according to the study, yes. less than 60% of that waste actually ends up, you know, being disposed or collected properly. No, no. That's why unaona ukitembea tembea kwa store unapata kuna a lot of uh, this particular situation. So wewe kama <laughs> mkaji wa mkaji wa pwani, <laughs> maoni yako ni gani? Sasa kaka. Uh-huh. Sawa. Uh, if wameona takataka zimezidi uwezo wao mm-hmm. i think the best thing to my opinion yeah they should not hire private companies okay sawa na they should not charge the common mwananchi 500 nikuulize will it be on a daily basis ama monthly ama yearly sijelewa <laughs> ama hawaja specify i just specify you know, specify or not uh-huh. 500 kwa mwananchi wa kawaida mwanze hiyo ni noma sana kwa sababu sai as we speak bro mm-hmm. kuna wanafunzi bado wanaendelea kwa limited form 1 mm-hmm. sawa mtoto anampeleka form 1 sai mzazi anampeleka na bado anaambiwa rudi na mtoto wako nyumbani kwa sababu ndio haijatosha na maybe kuna vitu fulani bado hajanunua kuna vitu fulani so, bado mzazi wao unampatia baden nyingine ya kuwa apatie county county hiyo ni serikali yani serikali sisi tufanye kazi tuwapatie pesa wakati already majukumu yetu mengine imetulemea haiwezi hapo mm-hmm. kwa private companies now it's a no kwa sababu mm-hmm. maboys wangapi hata ukitoka tu hapa next to our studio hapo mbele tu mm-hmm. utapata kuna maboys wangapi wamehang pale mm-hmm. wanangoja tu maybe wapate tu squad ya matatu ama ya bike wapate shilingi 100 200 kwa nini if there is a way serikali mimi najua county ya Mombasa iko na do watafute tu njia venye wat, watajipanga wateka budget yao upande wa takataka kwa sababu hii mambo ya takataka ya 7 tons haijaanza leo hizi mm-hmm. ma, malori za matakataka they have been working kwa hii county for so many years mm-hmm. sawa so kiwa wanaona kama hizi lori hazitoshi kubeba hizo takataka wanataka ku hire another companies wachukue wao maboys kumtane mm-hmm. wabebezi utakataka wazipeleke mahali pamoja mali wanajua yes hapa ndo mali mtakuwa mkiwa kotezo kutakataka mna dump then hizi lorry zetu zinakuja zinachukua zikipeleka rather than ku hire private companies ngizi maybe zita employ watu kidogo na wafinye pesa mimi mzee i'm sure kipo ukichukua kijana hapa nje umpatie kazi ya kutatakataka na umpatie 500 ama 300 mtu uh-huh. kijana umemsaidia as we speak this morning niko niki drop mtu hii shule hapo St Joseph uh-huh. kuna kijana ameshikwa overnight akiiba uh-huh. sawa So mimi kitu imegonga kwa akili yangu ni kwa who boys amekosa kazi ya kufanya so amefikiria this is the only way anaweza survive mm-hmm. so kimpatia ugunia sh- shika hii sack collect takataka ikifika jioni nje office ni shika 300 mm-hmm. yako tutakuwa umemsaidia tutakuwa umemsave man serikali fikirie kama serikali sifikirie kama watu wenye wameshi huko vijijini fikirie kama serikali au sio yes no. hiyo mambo ya 500 <laughs> nayo bro Five hundred, bro. Apa sahi na hii uchumi maliko. Itakuwa uongo, ndio? It's a no. 